latest on the firestorm that erupted online after a PR executive tweeted about her upcoming trip to South Africa. Her words so offensive to some, she lost her job over it and ignited outrage on Twitter, and she didn't even know it until she landed. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with more on this story. Good morning, Gio. Good morning, Lara. She was the high-level PR executive called a racist after posting that stunningly offensive tweet right before boarding a plane, in the air and unaware that she was about to be fired. This morning, Justine Sacco, the top publicist who up until now repped internet giants like Match.com, OkCupid, and The Daily Beast, is unemployed and apologetic, all because of this tweet, going to Africa, hope I don't get AIDS, just kidding, I'm white. Now she tells ABC News, words cannot express how sorry I am and how necessary it is for me to apologize to the people of South Africa. She posted the tweet Friday, right before jumping on a plane from London to Cape Town, South Africa. She was offline for the nearly 12-hour flight, but the whole time, millions were online. An explosive reaction, her reputation imploding. That hashtag, has Justine landed yet, seemed to appear everywhere. This is one of the fastest responses and crash and burns I've ever seen from a tweet. It's amazing how our life changed really during the course of one flight. This photo reportedly shows Sacco when she finally landed in South Africa, on the phone, apparently learning of the uproar for the first time. She deleted the tweet, then the entire account. Her response was to delete the Twitter account. That's certainly a start, but it doesn't go far enough to repair the damage she's done. So Sacco sent a statement to GMA telling us it is terribly easy to be cavalier about an epidemic that one has never witnessed firsthand. I am ashamed. Her former bosses at IAC calling the tweet outrageous and offensive and her family's reacting too, saying this is not indicative of the type of person she is. She wasn't raised this way. It was just a comment she made and she and her family are devastated. <clears throat> And you might be surprised to hear this. Sacco also tells us she was born in South Africa, calling it her father's country, sparking even more criticism that she should have known better, Lara. All right, Gio, thank you very much.